Hello everybody, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Just to keep you up to speed, we're researching Xenobiology, and we built a few medkits, and I've also customized a few of our soldiers. You can see that one right there is for me, myself. I wouldn't play this game without putting myself in the game. That'd be crazy. And we have up here Argyle Alligator, and he commented on Reddit that he wanted to be included on this playthrough, so I put him in. And keep in mind, you can comment on the YouTube video down below if you want to be included too. And I will put you in as long as I have room. So, after Argyle, we have Ferris Pilot. And Ferris Pilot comes to me from Twitter. Um, both Ferris and Argyle have YouTube channels, which I will link to in the description down below. And then we have Axe Amin. Axe here comes to me from Reddit again. I don't think Axe has a YouTube channel. If he does, I can't find it. And I randomly renamed some other people here uh, after YouTubers or other people that I know, such as John Jafari there and Isaac Clark from Dead Space. And Tara Branford right here is from Final Fantasy. But I haven't renamed everybody. These are just kind of placeholder names to make it a little bit more interesting. So now you're up to speed. So let's get straight back to the action. And we've hit alien abduction already. Sweet. Let's see. Australia gets me $200. That's good, I could always use money. Uh, Mexico gets me engineers, and Germany gets me scientists. So, what do I need most? Money or engineers or scientists? I'm gonna go with scientists, I think. Just because I don't have very many yet, and the extra boost could help me with research. So, to celebrate me renaming all these people, let's use all of our... All of our audience participation members all at once, including me, because I, I like to be included in things. So, this should be exciting, you guys. We're all going on a field trip to Germany. And we have a fancy ass ride. I mean, look at this thing, it's sweet. I mean, you can't see right now, but still. There we go. Picked up a local broadcast indicating Operation Sacred Moon. I hope none of you die, because if you guys die starting off this series, that sets a bad precedent for uh, for all the other people that might follow you. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I will try to keep you all alive. I will. If you die though, I'm, I'm very sorry. Sometimes I don't really have a lot of control over that, I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it's most likely some of you might die. Alright, so who gets to go first? Uh, I guess Alligator gets to go first. Mr. Argyle, we're gonna move you over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep things moving slow if I can, because moving without dashing and having people doing the Overwatch thing is the way you stop from dying most of the time. Most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. So, I've got at least one person on Overwatch, so these two guys can dash forward. And Pilot. Pilot, you're gonna do Overwatch 2 on the same cover, so you guys can be buddies. Pilot, I'd like you to meet Alligator. And now we get to see if aliens are gonna jump out and murder us all. And they didn't, so we live to fight another turn. Alright. We're gonna keep inching slowly forward like this. Always have at least one person on Overwatch. At least early on. Later on, you probably want more than one person being on Overwatch, because things get kind of... A little bit scary. They get really strong later on. They start getting a crazy amount of health and start doing amazing amounts of damage. That's when things get really dangerous. Here early on, the only danger you have is that most of your people are rookies. They can't shoot or aim worth a shit. And sometimes the aliens land some lucky shots. They have better guns than you do. But they have very little HP, so usually having one guy in Overwatch you have a good chance of murdering them before they get a chance to murder you. And really, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Just surviving longer than the other person? Or in this case, alien? I'm kind of wondering where they're at right now, because... I really want them to be out in the open right here, in the parking lot, where they, their only cover is essentially cars that I can blow up. But I think they're all inside the building, which is slightly harder to get into. Because I could go through this door right here, like that one right there, and there could be five of them staring me in the face, ready to murder me. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. 
because I like living, and I think you guys probably like living too. And I don't want to have your guys die, or my guy die. Oh shit, they're inside the building. That's what those little sound waves are for. To indicate what direction the sound is coming from, so you have an idea of where they are on the map. So that's helpful. I'm glad they have that in the game. Otherwise, sometimes you may be wandering around the map looking for one single alien. And that wouldn't be very exciting. So let's hope that they're not here ready to kill me as soon as I open the door. And they don't seem to be. I've got the door open and he doesn't see anything. The sniper cannot shoot his sniper rifle after moving until like several ranks later when you get an ability that you can do that with. Right now he can't. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. How does that guy moving on that side of the door mean that he can see the aliens, but my guy on the other side of the door couldn't see the aliens? He has pretty bad eyes for a sniper, if you ask me. I guess I need to get my guy some contacts or something. Alright, so let's just see who can get the first kill on this team, huh? Whoa, looks like Argyle's gonna get the first chance. So he gets first dibs. He may be the first one to kill somebody. Uh, he's got a better chance to hit this guy, so I'm gonna shoot at that one. And he failed to knock the door open, but he shot the alien and got a critical hit, so he gets the first kill on the team. Good job, Argyle. Good job. Now let's see if I can get Axe to kill something. Come on, Axe. Uh, I guess I have to put him outside here on this bench. That's okay. Axe doesn't sweat that. He can use anything for cover, because he's a man. A man that can't aim, apparently. Damn. That's alright, you'll get him next time. You'll get him next time. In the meantime, I'll just move up here and make myself useless. Because I really can't get close enough to fire. And Ferris here has the same problem I do, I think. Yeah, yeah, he can't get close enough to fire either. But we can both do Overwatch, so I'll be Overwatching with my pistol and he'll be Overwatching with his assault rifle. If they run into range, they should be dead. Hopefully. If they're that stupid. And, and they are that stupid. Oh, oh, missed. Oh, okay, well one of us got him. I think it had to be Ferris, because I don't think my pistol does more than two damage. Oh, well apparently there's an alien down here somewhere. Um, oh, I didn't even know that there was a space you could walk in between. Yeah, okay, I didn't even know that space down there really existed. I've never had an alien show up there before. On this map, they've almost always either been out in the parking lot or inside the building. I've never had one show up on that side of the map, so this will be new for me. Uh, I guess I'll try to move Axe down here. It won't hurt to dash, since they're probably on the other side of that wall. And then I'll move out here. I guess I can dash too. They're probably pretty far away. Or, or they have wall hacks. Wall hacks! That's not even- hey! What the- they split up! They're like, one's on one side of the wall, one's on the other side of the wall. That's the first time I've seen that happen too. Jesus. Oh, oh, pilot. Oh, no, no, we can't have you do this. No, you 15% to hit is is just too low. We're gonna put you in cover on the other side of this, this nice SUV right here. And hopefully you don't get killed by the alien. Oh, he's a... <laughs> We're just gonna play ring around the SUV. Oh, it blew off the side of the moving truck. Does that mean I could walk inside of that now? It does! Wow! This game's awesome! I didn't know I could do that either. I'm just learning all sorts of stuff today with you guys. And I've played this game for like 60 hours. Maybe I just forgot. Because I do that a lot. I forget things a lot. So it's possible I've seen that before and I'm just easily impressed. Alright, well... I don't think, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to pull out my pistol because I can't shoot him through the window. And, oh, well, I'm not gonna miss, at least. But I did one damage, so there's that. Well, Ferris, you're gonna have to pick up my slack because I couldn't kill him. But not from that side of the SUV, apparently. Um, uh, I'll just run you right next to the alien. You're a brave person. You're not afraid of aliens. You're not afraid of anything. Look at that. He murdered that alien at close range. You probably got little alien goo all over you now. Alright, Argyle's turn now. Unless you can scale that wall, I don't think you're going anywhere very fast. Nope, nope, can't scale that wall. Okay, well, we'll just do Overwatch in case he decides to phase through the wall again. I wish I could do that. Cheating ass aliens. I didn't know they were gonna have superpowers this time.
That's pretty good. I think I've chased this alien forever. Oh my god. He's not on this side of the wall. But now it's telling me he's down in the parking lot. He's not down in the parking lot. I have just been there. He is not fucking there. What? Now, what the hell was now you're just lying to me. Now you're just lying to me. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, he's right there. <laughs> Shit. Back. Well, there's only one of him and two, like, well, four of us, really, but two of us in range. So, hopefully Axe can hit him from here. God, I hope so. Oh, okay, yes. Yes, alright. Sweet. So now the other one's down in the parking lot? That's, that's what it seems. It did that thing twice, so I don't really think that it was just that one alien, right? It's, it's gotta be more than one. Oh, I swear to God, there's just so much footage I'm recording right now. There's nothing but me running from one side of this map to the other. What the fuck? I was already here. This is where I ran into, like, my first aliens. Why didn't I see these before? Plus, the game kept telling me that they were going to be in the parking lot. I kept getting the sound waves pointing to the parking lot. It's just, it's lying to me. It's just doing nothing but lying to me this round. Why do you lie to me, game? I can't trust you. But I'm willing to bet that we're really close to done right now, because I think these are probably the last two aliens in the game. Well, not in the whole game, obviously, but in this, you know, invasion or abduction or whatever. So, once I get somebody over here to kill these motherfuckers... Oh, pilot, 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 pilot. Let's put you behind this car. Yeah, yeah. You're doing pretty good so far. Let's see. Oh, 35%. He's probably not going to hit that. Yeah. Okay, well, he's behind the car, though, so he should be okay. But we should be done pretty soon. I mean, these are... Sectoids are pretty wimpy. I mean, even with that little mind melt thing like they just did, they're still pretty wimpy. They only got three or four health. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, he's still alive. You're still alive, pilot. You're just critically wounded. It's okay. I can save you. <laughs> I knew it was bad when it went into that damn cinematic camera. Every time that happens, they always get a, a, either a regular hit or a critical hit. Oh, man. Okay, 53% chance to hit, but if I can take out the other one that has a lower chance to hit, if I kill that one, I kill them both, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, he hit it! He hit it, but he didn't hit it hard enough. Shit! Oh, it could have been over right then and there, and I would have saved... I would have saved Pilot. I would have saved Ferris Pilot. Oh. But it, it's okay, it's okay. He, he he takes three rounds to die when he's on the ground like that, when he's ready to be stabilized, so... As long as I can kill these aliens or stabilize him with a med kit within three turns, he'll be okay. As long as they don't blow up one of the cars next to him, in which case, he will die. Um, that would be bad. Now, I'm gonna take a reaction shot, but I've only got a pistol, so it missed anyway. Even if I hit, it wouldn't have killed him. Uh. Oh no, don't kill, okay. Okay, he missed. Woo! <laughs> Oh man, that's all I need is for two people to go down. It's really rare at lower ranks for them to go into critical condition instead of just dying, so I got a lucky break there. Maybe I'll get another one here. Ah, damn it! Argyle! Why can't you kill people with your gun? You can hit them, why can't you kill them? Come on. Uh, maybe I'll just throw a grenade. I just, I really want that guy to die because I don't want him to end up hitting the car and causing it to explode. And that's my whole line of thinking here. So, he's gonna die. Yeah. I don't get his gun parts now, but... I could probably save Pilot's life now, so that's a good trade-off, right? I mean, his life is worth more than a few gun parts. Probably. Maybe. Alright, let's see if we can get a bead on the last one here. I won't be able to shoot him right now, but... Next turn, the sniper will be able to be able to maybe take him out, hopefully. Oh, 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 okay, so it, it literally hit me in the back, but it missed anyway, so that's a cool thing about this game sometimes. It shows the bullets hitting something and then it says it misses. I don't know, it's been like that since day number one, so it's not getting fixed anytime soon. And we've stabilized Pilot, so we've saved him, temporarily. And if I can just get Axe in the position, maybe Axe can kill the last alien, and then we can all go home and have some pizza or something. And no, Axe misses. Good job. Good job, Axe. Need to take you to the target range sometime? I could probably do it, though. 
Yeah! Now we can all go home. And, and, uh, Ferris Pilot gets to go to the hospital. So. Oh no, though. Could have been worse. Could have been better, but could have been worse. I mean, yeah, Ferris Pilot's gonna have a few days he's gonna have to recover, but he's not dead, so he should be thankful. Oh, look, see, he's only gravely wounded. He'll take 11 days. 11 days off, it's fine. He gets a little vacation. It's the start of the invasion anyway. You got plenty of time to fight more aliens later, Ferris. Plenty of time later. And we've all got two kills now. Everybody's got two kills. So, we picked up some corpses and some weapon fragments. And yeah, now we have a laboratory available. And we got four extra scientists. So all in all, pretty good day. So I'm gonna stop it right here. And just remember to like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.